What's going on guys? Welcome to Basement Bar Beers, Beards, and BS. I need a beer. That's just, we're just going to start there. I'm going straight to the beer. I'm always nervous I'm going to open that fridge up, or the freezer up one day, and drop one of the pint glasses out, and then have a really, really, really lovely smashed glass all over the floor, which would be not cool. Let's get pissed! Uh, anyway, uh, so today we've got some Scofflaw Brewing Co. Uh, let's see here. Straight out of the basement. Kind of appropriate. So this is a basement IPA, basement uh, India Pale Ale. It says, shh, don't ask what is happening in the basement. But it's also kind of true here. What happens in the basement bar stays in the basement bar. Uh, developed in our uh, original underground brewery, this juicy and dank IPA is loaded with citra hops, one of my personal favorites, um, in every sip, but you, uh, but you have to leave your parents' basement to get it. Well, that's crap. Ha! Gay! It is also 7.5, uh, alcohol by, 7.5% alcohol by volume in this 16 ounce pine can. And I know a little bit about Scofflaw, don't know a ton about it. I know, I mean, based on the name, they're kind of a don't give a shit about fuck kind of place, so. This is crazy. I don't know shit about fuck. Insert Ozark comment, bing. I'm trying to do better about having my laptop open, so like, if I gotta look things up, it's kind of here. Um, Scuffla. They've got really good reviews, uh, which doesn't surprise me. And if I, my memory serves me, I think they were one of the first companies to really do the um, seltzer drinks. They were early onto that, and then, anyway. So let's, and like I said, I don't think I've done this one on this one. I don't think I've done this beer on this channel. Also, Daniel, you probably shouldn't let your daughters watch this video. It's got some bad language. Not that you don't say your own fair of, you know, things, but Uncle Chappie doesn't need to be cursing in front of your children. Yes, I fully understand that that was a really bad pour. And just going, going with Scofflaw, I don't know shit about fuck, so. This is crazy. I don't know shit about fuck. I just, I don't care. I, I, that's, I, it's delicious, so, so it doesn't really matter what you think about what I just did. This is going to be unnecessarily cold because, um, it was, I had this frozen pint glass, so it may take a second for that to kind of settle. So let's see what I mean. It also fizzed a little on me. Anyway, Scofflaw is in the Atlanta area. Uh, it's what it says it's in Atlanta. I'm not sure the exact location. I mean, one of the guys got a big beard, so he can't be that bad of a guy. Although, when it, you go to your um, our store, it says shut up and listen. So, looks like some guys that like beer and don't care about anyone else, what they think about their beer. They're just doing what they love. So there's that. I'm going to drink this and kind of give you some updates on the Mark III GTI. Um, this, this mug is freezing cold. <laughs> it does smell delicious. So now I got to um, sit here and wait for that to fizz down.
paper down. We have a paper down. I repeat, a paper is down. Well, that's good. Oh, that's nice. I like it a lot. I like you, Mary. <sighs> I like you a lot. Well, that's really good. Well, this ain't gonna last. That's super good. Very dank, very hoppy, very citra hop. Um, but the citra hop's one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. Hey, look, it's beer drink. Ugh. Anyway, um, so update on the Mark III. Uh, it is currently, I've got the engine at a friend's house who is putting it together for me. We've discovered some things about it, which were good news, but also had to order some other parts. The VR6 in that car is traditionally a 2.8 liter, and it was bored second over, which means I need bigger rings to fit on the stock pistons. It's the max bore you can go on the stock piston, which kind of makes it a 2.9, which is kind of cool. Should free up a few more horsies. Which is always light, uh, nice to get a little bit more horse per. Well, pow, but bored and stroked out to make. Are you serious, dude? Nah, come on, it's hot in the episode. Yeah, dude, go ahead. More power, baby. Yeah, do it with me. More power, baby. Everybody. More power. Baby. As the guys on Donut Media would say, and. A couple of little things. I, I, I'm running a 256 cam, not the cam I was originally wanting to run, but the company that I was going to get them from, uh, DRC or uh, Doherty Racing, was trying to get castings and some. It's having issues getting parts to make the cam. So they're finally back in stock. I'm not in a place to order them like I want right now, even with the discount, which would be super cool. Um, I just I got to put together what I have, or it'll never get put together. So anyway, my friend has the engine; it's going together. Um, hopefully he's been working on it maybe this weekend. I know he started doing some stuff last weekend as well, but he also, it's on his timeline. So I'm super appreciative that he has taken kind of this on to help me out. And then once he gets back here, I got a few more little things I'd like to replace to make new before I put the engine back in the car. Mostly some sensors, uh, the AC compressor and some stuff like that, that just, you just do while it's out. There's no sense in putting some of those parts back on the car that you're not sure if they were good or not. So you don't want to put it all together and then just come to find out that you should have replaced it because it was bad anyway, because the compressor, you pretty much have to lift the engine up to get that thing out anyway. So ah, there's a couple hundred bucks. But like I said, I'm only doing what I can afford to do like a little bit at a time. I don't have a lot of money that I can just start throwing at this thing, but it is going forward. I have, uh, my goal is by April to drive this thing to um, Wookiees in the Woods, which is in Fontana, North Carolina, just out right there. And near the Tail of the Dragon, that whole area is one of my favorite areas. I, Like I said, I lived in Bryson City, so not too far from Bryson, so maybe a good excuse to hop over there and drink some beer. Any excuse to go over there and drink some beer, I'm in. My goal is to have the VR6 running it doesn't have to be pretty it just needs to be running and driving so that i can get there and back again not sure it's going to happen but that's that's my goal i really want to go this year i really want to have that car uh there this year as kind of like hey making some progress on this thing and kind of nice i rolled it out of the garage the other day after finally getting the correct sway bar in links Apparently that's a whole issue trying to get the correct sway bar in links for the VR6. Finally got them after the third attempt to order parts from a couple different companies. Um, got those installed. The sway bar was, the in links were installed in reverse when Pete was putting it back together while he was rushing, I'm sure, to replace the suspension that he tossed in the car in preparation to try to save the car. And which made the sway bar point down well it would touch the wheels so when we tried to roll it when we pulled it out of his house it scarred up the insides of the wheels the te37s and so now they're switched which raised the sway bar back up to its factory location 
and the car rolled right out of the garage didn't have any issues uh pressure washed the engine bay uh cleaned the car up a little bit so that is kind of the update on the car there so some good news some things progress forward uh my buddy um, Matt was able to powder coat the Shrick manifold for me, which I'll pop up some photos here. They're beautiful. I just did silver, uh, and then he wiped off the powder coating where the Shrick label is, so that's just the raw aluminum, which looks great. I really wanted... People are falling down upstairs. I really wanted to do um, the Jazz Blue, and I wanted to get really carried away with Jazz Blue on the car. But I think if I was to do that, the car would just sit while I was waiting to powder coat parts and and try to make it this ridiculous show car, which it's never gonna be. It's going to be a driver's car. I'm going to drive the wheels off of this thing once I get it running. And I'm super excited, but it's coming down the pipeline and it's getting closer every day and uh, I'm getting close. So as soon as uh, my buddies, uh, puts the, the bottom end together. He's gonna to slap the top end on and get it timed. And I'm gonna go pick it up, bring it, bring it back here and start putting up all the accessories on it so that I can install it back in the car with the transmission attached. All that's been painted and kind of tidied up and done what I could spending the least amount of money, but I, and I'm kind of just hundred dollar in this car back together. And um, so far so good. So anyway, that's kind of the update on the Mark III, this is delicious. Like I said, uh, Scofflaw, another local Atlanta company. I drink a couple of these and have a wonderful evening, especially at 7.5%. Um, oh. There, I'm giving the basement bar tour. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really do appreciate it. If you have not subscribed, please do. According to YouTube, I've got like 89% of the people that watch these videos are not subscribed. So please subscribe. It really is important to the channel. It helps me grow. So please like, comment, hit the bell button so you get a notification anytime I up new, upload new content. Hit the bell button. So much really good. Hit the bell button so you get a notification anytime I upload new content so you don't miss any of these ridiculous videos of me. Again, happy new year to you guys. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, and uh, have a wonderful week until the next beer. Cheers. Well done, Scuffla. Not that I'm surprised. I like some of y'all's beer. All right, I'm out. Toodles. So I, I didn't do a good job really talking about Scofflaw because um, I was more excited about talking about my car project. Um, I would ap apologize, but <clears throat> don't care. So I'm, I'm having another one. So if you don't know what Scofflaw is, there's this thing called the internet. You can go to Google and put in their name and their information pops up and then you can read all their stuff and You know, there's that. I, I mean, I, like, as a good person, like, that makes YouTube channels as a vlogger, I'm supposed to tell you. I just don't want to right now. So, so just Google them. They're, they're down there. Okay, bye.